hey, I thought today I would continue working on integrals from the MIT integration B from 2020. I have on the board problem number six. Okay, not sure how to pronounce all this, but you just got an infinite nested radical with X. This goes on forever. I thought this was a very interesting problem. Now, there's not a lot for us to do as far as calculus or algebra. It's really all about what we can do to interpret this nested radical situation. So I think what I want to do to get a better understanding of this nested radical situation is just let's rewrite this in a little bit of a different form. And then writing it this way, it's actually, I think it's just as confusing. It's pretty ugly to look at, but what it does do is it allows us to use or more easily use exponent rules. Because now that we have this in parentheses, it's easier to see that we could actually just distribute, multiply in this, outs this outer power inside here, okay? And then we can rewrite this again. So like distributing in this one half, we're gonna have an x to the one half out front. And this is just multiplied by this whole expression. But then on this whole thing, now this half times a half is gonna give us a quarter over here. And then what that's gonna allow us to do is just kind of repeat that over and over again, because now we can take our one fourth and distribute it in here. Okay, and distribute it here. So we'll have x to the one half times x to the one fourth times this whole thing. In here, we're gonna have an x to the one eighth around this now. And of course, we don't need to do it an infinite number of times, but you can kind of see what's happening when we do it again. We're gonna have x to the one half times x to the one fourth times distributing this in here, we're gonna have an x to the one eighth and then we'll get x to the one over 16, and it's just gonna go on and on like that. And at this point, we still have this infinite expression, maybe a little hard to deal with, but what we can do is now, just with our exponent rules again, we can add, we're multiplying, we, everything's x, we can just start adding exponents. So this is the same thing as x to the one half plus one fourth plus one eighth, et cetera. Anyway, this is just a geometric series, and this is pretty common. So this whole thing, the value of this whole geometric series is just one. So then what this whole thing boils down to is this whole expression, this thing right here, is just x. And like I said, there's not a lot of integration going on, but this is just our integral. So our integral, we're just integrating x dx. And so with the power rule, we get our solution x squared over 2 plus c. And I was thinking when I was doing this, what's my technique? Well, there is no technique really. I mean, it's power rule. Um, you may say we did a bunch of stuff here, but really you may think there was a bunch of steps here, but this really, all this was, was just recognizing that this thing is X. So you could almost jump. If you were actually doing the exam, I don't know how much work they'd expect you to show. I don't know. You might be able to just go from here to here and done in like five seconds. I think that might be okay. So anyway, I still thought it was a really fun problem. That's MIT 2020. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.